What's up YouTube, Zachary Michaels here. I'm an actor and this is An Actor Reacts. Today we'll be reacting to Baby Be Mine by Blackstreet. Let's get into it. Before we get started, if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and leave a comment below. Baby Be Mine was a debut single by Blackstreet released on February 23rd, 1993. The song originally appeared on the soundtrack to the 1993 film, CB4. The CB4 version of the track features the original lead vocals from Joseph Stone Street, who also co-wrote the song along with Teddy Riley, who was a founding member of the group and the song's producer. Joseph Stone Street left the group before the release of their self-titled debut album and was replaced on the album version of the track with lead vocals from Dave Hollister. The song peaked at number 17 on the Hot R&B and Hip Hop Songs chart. Okay, Black Street. Uh, now they were recommended. After doing some research, I realized that I do know uh, no diggity from them, but I don't think I know much else. So excited to get into their like discography as with all the other groups and stuff on the channel. Um, I did try to find the original version of the track. Um, hopefully I'll be able to react to the album version later on and see which one I like better. So, uh, let's get into the, C uh, ooh, let's get into the Baby Be Mine CB4 version music video. I'm MC Gusto, but in prison I'm known as 97-KY element OP-14 to the third power. Element OP. Now I may be in here for malicious acts. I do have a sensitive side. That must be the movie. Here we go. Yeah, you gotta go home. To the break of break of dawn. From your head to your toes. Cause black straight knows. You're the sexy movie maker. And a crazy rough shaker. Crazy rough shaker. Cause I want you to know. <laughs> so come closer, please. I love the I, I love the vibe. Hey, hey. I like the, the bed squeaking in the background too. My favorite part. Baby, baby, let's spend some time. This definitely gives me the no diggity vibe too. The like R and B with the like hip hop street edge. I might have to watch this movie too. It looks like fun. Because I don't take Chris Rock as a thug at all. You just open up to me. I will give you love and down from A to Z. So let's not waste time. Time is too short for ifs and maybes. I want you to oh, that lady. Me right now that you're good to go. And we will go to the swing. Just that when you do that, like, the leg cross thing, I'm doing it, but you can't see. Hey. 
Hey, that computer lab effect. Great voice on this guy. Hey, let's get into my final thoughts. Baby Be Mine. I love that song. That's like, it's kind of smooth R&B mixed with like street edge kind of hip hop. I love that sound. Definitely reminds me of like No Diggity. Like I said at the beginning, that's the one that I know from them. And it gives me that like same kind of flair. Like it's kind of, mid tempo like it you can bump it but it's also real smooth and slow and it has that kind of like bite to it i like that like mix of fusion of sounds that the, the group seems to have from the you know two songs that i've heard now um really really love that chorus that i want you i need you like that like crescendo and like and then the pull back and then the baby 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 be mine so i really really like the 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 vocals on this song too like it's that smooth chill laid back sound but like the vocals are still coming out and and, and impressing like really like that guy joseph stone streets like lead vocals um, love the other guys in the background with the, you know, I want you's and stuff. Um, but then I really, really love the production. Shout out to Teddy Riley. I had to look it up because I, in the video, in my head, I kept saying like, I recognize this guy. I recognize. And then I thought, like I looked it up and he's the dude from the Babyface battle who was like, kept, he kept like his Wi-Fi and stuff was messing up. So like, I definitely, I know him from that first. And then... Um, then I recognized him in this video. And so I probably know some more of his songs too, but mainly I just became aware of him like a few months ago with that battle with Babyface. Um, but really love the production on this. So excited to hear some more of their stuff, not just for the singers, which they went off, but also for his production and any other songs that he produced. Cause I really like the, the, the vibe of this beat. And I'm assuming he produced No Diggity too. That beat is great. And then I like, I love the little bad creaking effect that he had in the background too. Really great beat. Love the vocals. Love just that, that the, all the mix of the sounds in the song. Great vocals. Really, really love that chorus. Um, oh, and then the CB4. Uh, looks like a Chris, like one of those like cringe comedy Chris Rock movies. So I think I have to, maybe I'll check that out at some point. Cause it looks, it looks like stupid, but like the kind of stupid that you like, you know, like it doesn't look like it's like a good movie. Like it's not going to win any awards, but like you would have a good time just cause it's so dumb. Uh, cause Chris Rock does not give me that like, you know, tough gangster vibe at all, which I don't think he's supposed to. I think that's where the comedy comes in, but going to have to maybe check that out. I'll add that to like my list of movies that I got to watch. Um, but really enjoyed this song. Excited to get into some more Black Street. And just, again, I love the, the vibe that they have. It's like it's like street mix, mixed with smooth, it's mixed with like R&B. You're still getting the vocals, but you're getting that beat that you can ride out to. to like, really like all the elements of Black Street. Um, anything else? No, I think that's all I got on Baby Be Mine. This was a, like, I really like this one. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this track. Let me know if you prefer this version of the song or the album version. And I'll, I think I'm gonna, I think I'll do a video comparing the two and say, saying which one I like. Um, but leave that below in the comments and let me know some more Black Street songs I should get into. 
um, and some more Teddy Riley produced songs. Uh, you know, got to give that man his credit. Uh, but don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for stopping by. See y'all next time.